Hey guys, it's Luch with my friend Sean McPherson. We are talking about today musicians who didn't just roll out of a bong soap basement and become rock stars, but actually held credible jobs. And you are sort of trivia is your deal, mm -hmm. right? So. What people may not know is, I mean, a lot of the musicians who come in here for interviews, I noticed that teaching seems to be a huge background in a lot of musicians. And Bob Pollard of Guided by Voices, um, who's probably more known, well, he's known for putting out a record every six months, and then he's also known for enjoying beer and high kicks and having a good time. But he was a, a, a teacher for 15 years, and he taught everything from elementary to high school. And then he said, you know, when he was teaching fourth grade, they were always like, hey, you want to hang out with us? And he's like, no, I got to go to the teacher's lounge and uh, nap off a hangover. And he said he did that for 14 years. And um, it's just interesting to think about these rock stars that we know and love having jobs, real jobs, you know. So who have you in your history of trivia found to be a, an interesting rock star with a job? Well, some people have had interesting educational careers that have sometimes led to jobs and sometimes it's led to a really interesting split life where yeah, they yeah. come back and they go, okay, I still have to do this. Uh, so do you know about the singer from Bad Religion? Um, Greg Gaffin. Gaffin. Okay. He has a PhD in zoology. Oh my lord. Which is interesting enough. Yeah. But he's also like a lecturer at Cornell. So it means that you could take like an entry level class or maybe even an advanced class in zoology and have the guy from Bad Religion give you a subpar grade on it if you did a subpar job. The guy who wrote American Jesus. Right. Amazing! Okay, and also then, we also learned about, uh, is it Kim Deal or Kelly Deal? It is Kim Deal. No, no, it's Kelly Deal. Kelly no, Deal. No, no, Kelly Deal's the big one, Kim. Kelly Deal's the big star. Kim <laughs> Deal is the lab technician. <laughs> yes, I mean, lab tech, again, we all gotta pay the bills. And, and you know, and I'm not at all suggesting that musicians are so narrow that they don't have other focuses or interests, but, you know, I mean, a lot of people have called the Reverend Al Green. Is that just a euphemism? No, he's a reverend. He actually has a church, a congregation in Memphis, Tennessee, and actually somebody here on our staff just happened to walk into his church on a Sunday and got a, a pretty amazing, if you can imagine, experience with the Reverend Al Green. Unreal. I'll let you know a, a personal story. Yeah. So I uh, was in a band called Hila and we did a tour opening up for Minus the Bear in 2007. And I was small talking with the leader of Minus the Bear. And he was like, yeah, I'm a graphic designer. And then like two days later, I was like, so, so when'd you quit to just do this? He's like, I'll let you know when I quit. But every day <laughs> in the van, I'm on Photoshop, like getting it done. And they were doing well, but it was just still a gig. Yeah. So again, I mean, I'm, I, it's wonderful to think that every musician who has the aspiration to be on stage never has to uh, pick up a book or, or finish a, a class or get a credit. But, you know, I'm just happy. And J.D. McPherson. J.D. McPherson, a teacher as well. Yes. Yeah. But again, so the, all these little things that you don't know, just... Take a look the next time you're watching, I don't know, let's say, um, uh, Guar. Mm -hmm. You never know, like behind that monstrous makeup that somebody might have studied um, entomology, uh, what else? Pharmacology? Pharmaco well, probably, yeah. yeah. Makeup and costumes Yeah. Guar. <laughs> so anyway, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs>